All right, guys, 7.3 trigonometric equations. Um, here we go, let's just start right in. The objectives for today, we're gonna solve equations involving a single trigonometric function, solve trig equations using a calculator, solve trig equations in quadratic form um, using some factoring, and then solve trig equations using some fundamental identities like the Pythagorean identity. And then lastly, solving trig equations using a graphing utility. We'll see if we get to it all in this video. Here we go. So objective one, example one. Here it says, determine whether theta equals pi over six is a solution of the equation two times sine of theta minus root three is equal to zero. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna plug in that pi over six for theta, and we're gonna check it. So if we do that, what you see here is that you'd have two times the sine of pi over six minus root three. We have to see if that's equal to zero. Okay, and then they're gonna want us to try it with uh, pi over three as well, which we'll do over here. So sine of pi over six, if you looked at your unit circle, if you just remember that that pi over six, it's a nice angle in the unit circle, um, the y value of pi over six is equal to a half. Okay, so this would be like two times one half minus root three equals zero. Well, two times a half is just one. One minus the root of three is not equal to zero. Therefore, uh, pi over six is not a solution. So the answer is no for that part of this. Then we'll do this again over here. Let's, let's plug in a pi over three and see what happens. So it'd be two times the sine of, uh, well, pi over three on the unit circle is the root three over two. Okay, so the y value at pi over three on the unit circle is this guy, all right? And then we're gonna subtract root three and see if that's equal to zero. All right, so, <clears throat> uh, and I should, I should be a little more clear here. I'm actually plugging in pi over three since I have the sine value here. The next step here would be to actually give that, right? So it'd be two times root three over two minus root three equals zero. These twos just cancel, so you end up with root three minus root three here. Okay, so the answer is yes. Root, uh, sorry, pi over three is a solution to two times the sine of theta minus um, root three equal to zero. So you're just plugging in here, um, and you can use your unit circle as a cheat, but try to try to see if you can figure it out before you check your unit circle and then uh, continue on. So here, here's all their work for it, which I'm not gonna bother with. Uh, for this here, this is an interesting thing to consider. It says, unless the domain of the variables is restricted, we need to find all the solutions of a trig equation. As the next example illustrates, finding all the solutions can be accomplished by first finding solutions over an interval whose length equals the period of the function. Okay, so just like the first, like what we've been doing, right? The finding the first few solutions and then adding multiples of that period to the solutions found. So we'll go through that and do that, but... Um, they're gonna define it for us. So here it says, solve the equation cosine of theta equals root two over two. Give a general form formula for all the solutions, list eight of the solutions. Okay, so here's what we needed to do for example two. First of all, we know where the cosine of theta is equal to root two over two. That happens at, well, the first place that it happens on the unit circle is that it happens at, um, and I can show, show a little picture over here, root two over two, when the x value is equal to that, was at 45 degrees. 45 degrees in radians is uh, pi over four. Okay, so that's the first place that we have a cosine of theta equal to that thing, right? Okay, so they want eight solutions to this. Well, another place where the x value is equal to root two over two is down here, isn't it? Okay, so that's another place where it occurs. Um, and so that place, we don't wanna give the negative, well, you could give the negative theta here, but uh, soon they're gonna be restricting things to like zero to two pi, so let's get used to that. Um, so if we didn't do the negative angle here, you know, if you, go, if you went all the way around the unit circle, that's two pi, right? So if we took two pi and we subtracted pi over four, all right, so we can put this two pi in terms of force, that's what I would like to, I would encourage you to do. So that would be like eight pi over four is equal to two pi, right? And I subtract a pi over four, that would be where I'm at here. This would be seven pi over four. 
Okay, so what I do, what I like to do is I like to get those two uh, to begin with. So 7 pi over 4 would be the second place for that x value is the same. Okay, then they want eight solutions to this. Well, those are, this, those are just trips around the unit circle. So I can just add 2 pi uh, repeatedly to each one of these. So the 2 pi... You know, as a key, you might want to try to do this, uh, change it to whatever denominator you're working with. So 2 pi, we said, was equal to 8 pi over 4. So I'm just going to keep adding 8 pi over 4. Okay, so if I, so this is my first two solutions. If I add 8 pi over 4 to both of these, then I would get, for my, for my next set here, I'd have 9 pi over 4. Okay, so that would be a solution. Down below here, I'd have 15 pi over 4. So that would be a solution, and they want eight of these, so we've got to just keep going. You can also subtract eight pi over four from your original and go the other way for these if you want to include the negatives, uh, but I'm just gonna keep it positive here. So um, eight pi over four, which we'll just keep adding those. Uh, and what you end up with here is 17 pi over four, and here's 23 pi over four. Okay, and just keep going, right? So our next, our next solution would be 25 pi over 4, and uh, th I think 31 pi over 4. Okay, so you just keep adding 2 pi because those are just trips all the way around the circle and back. So that's example 2. They want you to list a bunch of solutions just to get used to that. Okay, so then they go through it. Looks like they included negatives for theirs, which that's totally fine as well. If they ask you for a formula, the formula that is used, we usually put a K in there. The K represents trips around the unit circle. That's all that represents. So you start with pi over four, and what it's saying is, then you're gonna add two pi, right? You're gonna add two pi. The K value represents how many times you go around that unit circle. So for instance, if I plugged a three in for k, that would be, you'd, you'd be adding the six pi there, right? So that would be the, the third time around the unit circle would be the six pi that you would add in. So that's what they want for the equation. They use k for any integer. They'll probably have you, you know, come up with those formulas. Um, but again, they start at those basics that we found, and then you're just adding two pi to that. The k is just for the number of trips around the circle. Here we go, example three, it says solve the equation two sine of theta plus uh, root two equals zero. And notice, they want only the thetas between zero and two pi. Okay, so we gotta remember that when we're doing our solutions, they only want positive values of theta between zero and two pi, one trip around the unit circle. All right, so let's figure this out here. So first of all, let's solve this for sine and see what we're dealing with. So let's get sine of theta all by itself. All right, so let's first subtract root two. So we have two sine of theta equal to negative root two. To, sin, to, to uh, solve for sine of theta, you gotta divide both sides by two, right? So we have sine of theta is equal to negative root two over two. Okay, and we know where that happens. Uh, negative root two over two, that's the y values when the y values <clears throat> for sine, this is when the y values are at negative, it's like negative 45 degrees, right? Um, so that occurs on the y in these areas over here. Sorry, y values, these areas over here. So it would be this guy and then this guy. Okay, uh, one trip around the unit circle would be these two places where the y value is equal to negative root two over two. Okay, so, but they want our solutions, they don't want the negative thetas. In other words, they don't want us to go this way uh, from standard position. They want us to go all the way around this way to give you those positive two angles, okay? So if I do that, I gotta just figure out where that is. Okay, well that occurs, we know that if we get to here, we're at pi, and then we just gotta add a, um, a pi over four, because 45 degrees, right? We know root two over two is 45 degrees, or pi over four. So we have, uh, I just wrote two, but I meant four. Pi over four, okay, so if I have pi and I add pi over four, well, pi is the same as like four pi over four, right, in terms of force. If I add a pi over four to that, I end up with five pi over four. Okay, so one solution's at five pi over four, between zero and two pi. The other one occurs 
Uh, there's a couple ways you could find this one. You could start here, find the negative value, and then subtract from 2 pi. So, you know, all the way around is 2 pi. So we could say, uh, in terms of force, that would be uh, 2 pi in terms of force would be, yeah, it would be 8 pi over 4, right? That's equivalent to 2 pi. And if I subtract pi over 4 to get down here, then I would be at 7 pi over 4. So the two places where this occurs are 5 pi over 4 and 7 pi over 4. All right, so that's what you're doing for this one, example 3. All right, and then example 4. Uh, oh, nice, I have a picture of this here for you. Okay, so example 4 says the sine of 2 times theta. Okay, 2 times theta is equal to root 3 over 2. So typically the period is 2 pi for sine, right? So now we have now we have to divide it by 2 because we have 2 times the theta, okay? So in 2 pi, we'd have actually, if you were to graph this between 0 and 2 pi, remember that that 2 in there means you'd have two full cycles of sine inside 0 to 2 pi instead of 1. All right, so um, we're going to have a few more things to consider here. So let's try this out. First of all, um, we know that we know that the sine of just theta, right? We know the sine of just theta is equal to root three over two um, at the places pi over three. And again, you can use your unit circle if you need to for this. Um, and then again, so this is when the y values are positive, right? Uh, at root three over two, so. You know, it happened, well, we have a nice image of it down here. Uh, so in the pink here, we also have it, which was, which occurs at, that value there would be at, um, uh, let's see, that would be 2 pi over 3. So 2 pi over 3. Okay, well, that's where it originally occurs. Now, we have to, what we have to do is, since the, we're multiplying theta by 2, we actually have to divide each one of those by 2 to get where our original theta is you know, we did a lot of this in the beginning here, but this is kind of a refresher. So if I divide by 2 on each one of these, okay, because originally this was 2, right, so I have to divide both sides by 2, I would get, I would end up with pi over 6, and if I divide 2 pi over 3 by 2, it's the same thing as multiplying this by a half, right? Uh, so these end up canceling, and you get pi over 3, so pi over 3. Those are the two places where we start. Okay, so we have pi over 6, pi over 3. Now what we have to do is, because we're on 2 theta here, we have to add pi to each one of these. Okay, so if I add a pi to pi over 6, uh, that's like 6 pi over 6 plus pi over 6, which is uh, 7 pi over 6. And then uh, if I kept adding it, if I, kept, if I added another one, I'd be at 13 pi over 6, but then I'm outside of 2 pi, right? Because I went past 12 pi over 6. So that's all that's going to work for that one. And then if I added uh, pi over 6 to pi over 3, um, well, I could just add a pi to that, so I could just actually add just 3 pi over 3 to pi over 3. And if I do that, I would be at 4 pi over 3. So I'm just adding pi to each one of these um, so that I can get all the places in which the theta is equal to this since we're dividing by 2. So it's going to happen multiple times, um, 2 times on the cycle instead of 4 for each one of these. Okay, so that's whenever you have a 2 times the theta. All right, so then they walk you through all this here, and I've uploaded these, uh, these slides should be available to you, so just, um, if not, you can just ask me for these, but, so then they show you the visual of um, how many times sine goes through on the 2 pi there when you have that, uh, and they do have these equations as well, okay, so uh, this is to show you, you know, this is, typically it would just be a theta equals pi over 3 plus 2k pi, right, but if you have a 2 out here, now you have to divide both sides by 2. Now what's happening is every pi, you have a solution instead of every 2 pi. Okay, and that's because we, we are multiplying our original theta by 2.